The Google Translate app is a great tool for allowing students to bridge their home language with their goal language. It is important to note that the Google Translate app is an app. It will need to be added to a mobile device through the Google Play Store or App Store, or it can be added to a Chromebook by going to the Google Play Store app from the circle menu and installing the app on the student's Chromebook. The camera can be hovered over top of printed text to translate in the moment. Students can hover their, their phone over the front of their computer screen to see something, or they can hover and take a picture of printed text and have that text get translated into their home language. If they take a photo, there are some other options available in the app. The conversation tool is great for conversations. You can speak in your language and the student can listen or read in their home language. They can then provide a response in their home language and you can listen as well. Transcribe is also a great option if you're playing something like a video and the video does not offer closed captions or something like that in the student's home language. It will transcribe the video and they can then read um, those transcribed words. One way that you can enter text into the app is by using the microphone or speech option. I can tap the microphone and then speak into it um, and I can read a passage or say a complete sentence or something like that, something that I'm looking to explain. And when I hit the microphone again, it'll provide me with that translation. I can also use the pen to handwrite a word. So for our younger students um, who maybe aren't good with typing, but are good with handwriting, they can, they have that as an option. Once you have translated the word, there are a few options at the bottom of the translation. You can search for the word within Google. You can copy the word and trans and paste it somewhere else. You can make it bigger and you can also share it um, with the little share icon. Some of the settings that are included in the app allow you to the option to blocking offensive words. Well, this is nice, especially for our younger children. Uh, we can choose our speech region. You can also adjust the pronunciation speed, so you can slow that speed down. This is a useful tool for many students. For offline use of the app, students would have to download the specific language pack that they're looking for. They may already have the language pack for their home language, but they may need to download the English language pack for offline use. Open up your circle menu and open the Play Store. Search for Google Translate. It comes up in your list of apps. When you see this app, click Install. Click Open. To access the app again, you'll be able to open it from the circle menu. It will show up in your list of apps here. Once inside the app, it's going to ask you to set up Google Translate. You can select the language you translate most often, and there's a list of languages there. To translate offline, make sure the box is checked here. This will download your language pack for the language that you translate most often. It'll allow you to use the translator tool even if you're not connected to the internet. Much like the mobile app for cell phones, using the Translate app on a Chromebook still allows me to use my camera, have a conversation, or transcribe audio.